What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kohar here from Kohar Project. I am a self-taught artist and I am a digital illustrator specializing in anime and manga style. So today's video is a response to a comment that I received last week asking me if I can make a video about the tools and a feature from Procreate. So here is the seven, I mean the seven most important tools that you can utilize to start your digital art journey. But before that, as usual, if you like me, if you like this content, smash that like button right now. And if you want to see me and this channel grow, press subscribe and turn on the ring notification so you won't miss my next video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Number one is canvas size. Canvas size is a very important aspect for a digital art because digital art quality is determined by the amounts of the pixels. The bigger the pixels, the better the quality. It is also a good idea to keep using the same size of the canvas for your art to make it more uniform. In Procreate, the app already have few templates for you to use, but also you can make your own canvas size by choose the custom canvas size. I'll show you how. First, you just press this plus button here, and then you can choose among all this pre-made canvas size. But if you want to make your own, just press this one, and then you can choose the width and then the height. And then make sure the DPI is 300, because if it's below than that, the print quality is going to be lower. So here, I already have my own one because I usually post on Instagram. So I use this radio 4 by 5 and then the pixel size is 2160 by 2700 pixel. And then if you want to edit your own canvas, you just slide it down to the left. You just edit. You're going to go back to the first interface and then you can change the width the height, the DPI, and then it will show you how much, how many layers that you can make on that canvas. And then the color profile is just between RGB and CMYK. I usually just use RGB because it's very generic. And then the time-lapse setting here is for the result of your time-lapse video. So in Procreate, every time you draw something or every time you create something, they will record from the beginning till the end. And then I usually just use 1080p and then studio quality. But you can always choose 2K, 4K, or even higher quality, which is lossless. HEVC means high efficiency codec. So if you wanna use your video for um, easy access for any other app, you, just, you can just turn this on. And then canvas property, you can choose the background color, which I usually just leave it white, and then this one to make the background transparent. But you can also change it on the canvas itself. So you just go save, and then you open it. There you go, you got your canvas here, and then you can turn off the background color here. And that's it for number one. Next one is Drawing Guide. Drawing Guide is also very important tools in Procreate because it will help you in many situations when you needed to draw some specific shape. Think of it as your digital ruler. How to turn on is very straightforward. You just go to the rents icon here and then you choose Canvas and then turn on Drawing Guide. But Drawing Guide also has four different guides which is 2D Grid, it will help you map out your drawings on the canvas and then you can choose the opacity, the thickness and the grid size. Isometric is pretty similar but instead of straight lines it will only allow you to draw diagonal lines. Perspective is to help you create perspective on your art or your background and you can move the vanishing point or you can, you can add another one to have two finishing points and then the symmetry. Symmetry will help you to create a symmetrical shape for so whatever you draw on this side it's going to reflect it on the side just like a mirror 
they do have a few options here, vertical, horizontal, quadrant, and gradient. You can experiment on all that. And make sure the drawing assist is on because if it's off, it will not help you um, creating the shape that you want. So click on the layer, turn on the drawing assist. And this is just an example. There you go. So there's a drawing deck. Number three is the reference. Reference is very crucial for artists as well because it will help you keep your reference image or shape on the screen so you can easily access it without changing screen. How to turn on the reference is again, you go to the wrench icon here and then just turn on the reference, which you can use image or face. And if you choose the image, you just need to import the image that you want. For example, my cat over here. And then you can move the reference somewhere there. And then, yeah. You can use that reference to draw whatever you want to draw. And then if you don't need it, you just close the window here and that's it. Very straightforward and very easy. Number four, layers. If we talk about digital art, we also need to talk about layers because layers is the biggest difference between traditional and the digital. Layers are the tools for artists to create separation among the object on their art, but also very useful to enhance the result of their art. I'm just gonna go through the basic of the layers because I will make a detailed video about it in the future. First, the layer icon is this one. Like you can see, layer number one is the dark purple, orb here and then layer number two is the lighter purple orb. Layer number three, I will talk about it later. So I'm just gonna hide it now. So if you choose layer number one here and then this is the move tool or to edit the size, you can flip it horizontal, vertical, rotate it 49 degrees, I mean 45 degrees and then you can also resize it to fit the canvas. And this one, I'm just gonna always leave it in bilinear. You will see the difference when you actually draw um, something because this is just a basic shape, you can't really see, but I will recommend to just keep it on bilinear. And then reset is straightforward. You're just gonna go back to original state. There's a free form here. You can like change the shape of your layer, I mean of the selected layer. And uniform means they're gonna keep the same radio, I mean, the same shape. They stored this, you can just like um, experimenting on this stuff. But the point is, you can select the layer and then you can edit it by using this um, icon here. And then you can also move the layer between the layer and then put them in the foreground or in the background. And also you can hide it by clicking this button. And yeah, that is the basic of the layer. Like I said, I'm gonna go into it deeper on my next video. So stay tuned and let's move on. Number five, selection tools. If layers are the tools to differentiate between the object and the canvas, selection tools is more to differentiate areas between the object, the layers, and the canvas itself. So the tools icon is this one, and they got four type of selection tools, which is the first one is automatic. If you choose on this layer two here, and you choose automatic, they're gonna choose outside object on the layer 2 like this so you can draw 
without touching the object on the layer 2. But if you choose automatic here on the object, means you can draw only inside the layers. So automatic is using their own boundaries to choose, I mean, to create a selections. Freehand is like lots of tools. You can actually draw them yourself like this and this and this. Draw selections, and that is the freehand rectangle is pretty straightforward. Just gonna create a square selection. Ellipse is like creating circle or ellipse, and using the freehand as an example here, and then you can remove it. Remove the selection to delete the selections. Invert means like to invert the selections. Copy paste to copy paste the selection. I mean, yeah, the selection itself because remember I inferred it before. But if you're not, if you didn't invert them, you're just gonna move the one that you choose here, like this, and then. There's a feather here to smoothen the selections. I don't really use it. And then save load is very useful when you drawing and then you wanna create um, a template for the selections. And then you use it again for the futures. And then color fill is literally just to fill the color that you chose. And clear just to remove the selection. And yeah, that's it for selection tools. Number six, color palettes. Color palettes or color wheel is something that you won't miss in uh, every digital art applications. So on Procreate, we got the color wheels here. Which you can choose which one that you prefer. The first option is disc, classic, harmony, value, and palettes. I usually just use the classic because you know it's very straightforward. You choose the color and then you choose the the brightness here. And then you choose the intensity of the color here. But it's a good thing to know that palettes is also very easy and straightforward. If you want to draw something from reference or you want to have the specific palette colors you can just choose the plus button here create new i mean new from photos and then i'll choose this oreo image here and then there you go they extracted all the color palettes here and it's very useful if you want to like you know to use it as your color scheme or drawing um, something from the reference and also Procreate made it super easy to color drop you literally just chose the, the color and then you drag it and then there you go drop it again be mindful of the layer that you're using because if you're using in the open layer they're just gonna feel like the whole thing so I'm gonna change the layer one here to yellow just drop it and there you go you can also change the threshold but because this is a basic simple shape it won't do anything so yeah that's for the color palette Number seven, various brush set. One of my favorite features from Procreate is their massive brush set. As a beginner, you can actually find their brush library is more than enough. You can utilize each of them to create anything you want and not just that, 
Procreate allows you to create your own brush. For example, here, chain brush. braid and even the feathers here I made them all from the scratch but since this video is just a highlight of useful tools and features of the app I will definitely make another video of how to create your own brush so again stay tuned and the brush that you they provide from Procreate is pretty much everything that you need like I said so we have sketching brush here inking drawing painting artistic calligraphy airbrush and etc etc so the sky is the limit here you can just keep experimenting to find your favorite brush and then you can create your set for example my fave and just move the brush that you like to your set. Very easy and straightforward and keep on practicing and experimenting. So that's it for today guys. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoy my video today. And please don't forget to check my Instagram account and Twitter and also TikTok. I usually post my art there. And until next time, stay safe out there and I'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.